Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. I want to talk about the, you know, we've talked about the Yoko yoke, but I want to talk about now this throttle quadrant. So this is from the same people that make the Yoko yoke. This is the TQ6. Now this, so it's a six lever throttle quadrant. You got um, two throttle, two prop, and two mixture here. And they do make one that is a three lever throttle, but it only costs a little bit less. So I highly, we're not even gonna carry that one. We're just gonna carry this one because even if you're not doing twins right now, there may be a time coming up where you would do twins. And again, the cost difference between the, the, um, the six lever and the three liter is, it, it, lever is only like, uh, you know, 150 bucks, something like that. So what I'll say about this is, yes, it has the similar functionality from what you can get from SciTech, um, but this is all metal. It's much smoother. There is no kind of sliding friction sort of feel whenever you're moving these things. And there's a very nice hard detent here. And then once you go past that, you see it's a pretty stiff detent. And you do have a, an adjustment for that here on the side. In fact, I might even loosen that up a little bit. So you can make these levers a little harder or a little, or a little less hard to move with the adjustment. It has a very nice clamping mechanism. So my thoughts on this are, if you're gonna splurge for the Yoko yoke for a thousand-ish dollars, this is in the five or six hundred dollar range. I think it's almost a no-brainer. Why would you wanna put an inferior, um, you know, throttle quadrant with your nice Yoko yoke? Again, you can clamp this down or it does have holes in the bottom where you can screw it down. But just a really nice fluid motion here, just feels really nice. Obviously, it doesn't do anything functionally different than the SciTech unit other than being metal, smooth, nice heavy feel to it. And it's gonna feel a whole lot like what's in the plane, so we highly recommend it.